evening everyone um we will present about macular function test um let us start with anatomy a macula is a 5.5 mm circular area at posterior pole it has umbo foveola fovea parafoveal and perifoveal region primary function of the macula includes photopic vision uh, color vision excuse me your slides, slides are not moving it yeah. oh. up one minute ma'am yeah and you can click the slides on the left side Yes. Yeah. Primary function of the macula includes photopic vision. Now is it moving, ma'am? No. Now it is in the first slide only. You keep clicking the slides in the left side, whichever slides you wanted to show. Go to the next slide. Yeah. Now it is the second slide. Yeah. Okay. Primary yes. function of macula includes photopic vision, color vision, and the other function includes highest discriminative ability, and it also subserves central fifteen to twenty degree of visual field. Coming to my topic proper, macular function test it helps us to diagnose and follow up macular diseases, and also for evaluating potential macular function in eye with opaque media. A patient with macular disorder will present with a central vision impairment, metamorphosia, difficulty in deciding colors, macropsia, and micropsia. These are the list of macular function tests which can be done in clear media. We'll be seeing it one by one. Now, visual acuity. A patient with ma ma macular disorder, uh, for them the visual acuity will get worse when patient looks through a pin hole. Um, contrast sensitivity will also re get reduced in patient with macular diseases. This is Pelli-Robson chart, which is most commonly used test to check contrast sensitivity. Coming to color vision, normal person, normal persons possess all three cones called trichromat. A patient with acute macular disorder will have blue yellow defect. So, patient with blue yellow will defect will have look. Uh, can see this image like this. Uh, this is Shiara chart, most commonly used test to check color vision. Other test includes Lantern's test, Transworth Munson hundred U test, City University color vision test, and anomaloscope test. Uh, coming to ancillary grid test, this is a simple office and home based screening test used to monitor central vision uh, procedure. We have to hold, a patient should wear the correct glasses uh, if patient is a presbyopic and hold yeah. the check distance. The iron green chokti rational mo amukta maliya da. Doctor Madhuri. Okay, You have to check each eye separately. Uh, we should instruct the patient to look into three things. One, when patients looking in the center, four corners should be visible. And they have to inform if there is any distortion of line at missing area in the chart. Um, coming to photo stress test, as the name indicates, this test stresses on the photoreceptor at macula. And this test also helps us to differentiate between macular and optic nerve pathology. Principle of this test, this is a gross test of dark adaptation here. Visual pigments are bleached by light. So this causes a temporary state of retinal insensitivity perceived as scotoma. And the recovery of vision is depend on the ability of the photoreceptor to resynthesize visual pigments. A uh, procedure of this test, we have to check visual acuity first, then we have to hold the light source three centimeters away from the patient for 10 seconds, then again we have to check the visual acuity. Uh, photo stress recovery time is the time taken to read any two-third of the letter of pre-test acuity line. Normal patients will read within 15 to 30 seconds. If patient is taking more than 50 seconds, that indicates macular pathology. Uh, Two-point discrimination test, this is to check the ability of the patient to distinguish between two elimination, two eliminated points. Um, coming to microperimetry, this is to uh, this test to assess the retinal sensitivity while fundus is directly examined. As we all know, OCT helps us to know only about the morphology of the macula, but this microperimetry helps us to know about both morphology and function of the macula. Unlike conventional perimetry, this microperimetry has an eye, uh, active eye tracker. This helps us to real-time visualization of the fundus. And other, there is other feature called auto tracking. This helps for follow up examination. And these are the macular function tests which can be done in opaque media.
uh, Maddox rod test. For this test, we have to occlude one eye and we have to place the Maddox rod in other eye horizontally and we should throw a light one third meter away from the patient. If patient is able to see a vertical line without any discontinuity, um, that suggests normal macular function test. Uh, endoptic phenomena, as this name suggests, end means within, optic means eye. A phenomena is an event uh, which is absorbable. So endoptic phenomena is an event that occurs in eye which is absorbable. There are four types of endoptic phenomena. Blue-fill endoptic phenomena, Purkinje endoptic phenomena, uh, Heidinger's brush, and phosphines. Potential acuity meter test and laser interferometry both help us to know, uh, uh, to assess the visual acuity in patient with early to moderate cataract. Here, a reduced slenoid chart. Uh, we are redu um, we are projecting the reduced slenoid chart via na narrow beam of light into a macula. The resulting potential acuity is the smallest line where the patient is able to read. In laser interferometry, uh, the stripes of in a stri uh, stripes in a circular field are shown, and patient is asked to indicate the direction of fringes, whether it's vertical, horizontal, or oblique. If patient is able to see the fringes, they are gradually made finer until they disappear. And endpoint fringes is converted into slanins equivalent using a conversion table. ERG and VEP also used to check uh, know about macular function in patient with opaque media. Thank you. Over to the panel. Uh, uh, good, uh, uh, good presentation, uh, uh, Keith. Um, see, uh, uh, just one question. Hmm? Uh, uh, give me one one uh, situation where uh, uh, the use of uh, the ancillary grid uh, decides whether the patient the vision is will be uh, preserved uh, or not, like. The use of uh, one one very important use of uh, uh, Amstel grid. Uh, we commonly use Amstel grid in uh, macular degenerations like ARMD patients for ARMD patients and the CSR. No, uh, 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 so so how, how is it going to help? So we'll give the Amstel chart to the patient uh, to do home screening. Uh, we can ask them to check their central vision, like whatever the points I said, like central vision, metapomorphosia, and uh, any missing area, they, can ha uh, they, they have to inform or... Thank you, thank you, Dr. Meera. Hospital immediately. Okay, so thank you. Hi, Dr. Meera, Dr. Saptagirish here. Hi, sir. Thanks, President. Thank you, so sir. ask one question. You said that in patients with uh, problems, uh, when you do a pinhole, the is actually low. So why is it so? Uh, so pinhole, uh, pinhole that vision is in a pinhole in patients with macular degeneration, macular problems. Yes, a pinhole uh, allows us allows only the central vision. So only macula can uh, perceive whether, like only macula can function when patients looking for a pinhole. So like a peripheral, a peripheral rays was. Uh, like stopped when patients looking for pinhole. Like one, uh, my pinhole will allow only the central rays to enter the eye, sir. Which will fall only on the macula, so. I think I'll just stop my video to make the bandwidth better. No, yeah. I'm, I'm still not able to understand, Dr. Meera, how uh, if you're doing just a macular function and we just put a pinhole, I understand that the uh, rays are focused on to the macula. Then what happens? What is the completion of the answer? A diffraction of light, sir. It's allowing only the central, the central rays to enter the eye, which will fall only on the macula. So that tests only the uh, rays, which is falling on the macula, mm. sir. Okay. So, so what? So what? Complete the answer. You've told 90%. Tell the last 10% and complete it. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. Yeah, you are checking the macula. So pinhole, you will have the light focused on to, I mean, the pin source actually falling onto the macula. And because the macula is diseased, your vision actually will decrease. Right? Did you complete that sentence? Okay, Mira. Good. Nice presentation. Thank you, sir. Good presentation, uh, Mira. When you're doing an uh, Amstler chart, how many degrees uh, does it check? Uh, central 20 degrees of film. So 10 on either side. 
Good. So there's a uh, if you have a patient with cataract, you will also want to check for a pupil. So that's uh, you will need to also learn if there is one eye where uh, uh, I mean it doesn't come in the macular function, but if you have a patient who has one corneal opacity and one eye which is reacting, whether you need to know, so you need to also know how to do a reverse uh, RAPD test. But otherwise, good present. That's not a part of this, but you need to learn how to do that. Good presentation.